Hello guys, this is Maciej from Den of Imagination and today we will take a look at Snoot Goblin Modular Terrain Set. So guys, this is fantastic thing. Uh, it is really allowing you to build anything you want on your tabletop. It can be new set of dungeons or new set of buildings you can play your war games on. Since it's modular, you can connect it any way you really want to. You can put things any order you want to and it will work just fine. It is a lot of fun to play with and yeah, it's just amazing piece of uh, hobby thing that can um, enrich your collection and make your gaming experience even better. So now let's see a little fun clip from the Snoot Goblin showing all those pieces coming together so you will have that, uh, you know, that nice uh, proper view. jump straight into painting tutorial of such terrain but before we'll do that two important notes first of all we've got a very special offer uh, for you just check the description down below and you will find all the details regarding the special offer for that modular terrain set and the second thing is I am painting the prototype that is pre-built so Keep in mind that I will mask some things during the painting process, but if you will back the project and you will paint it yourself, it will be much easier because you will be able to paint piece by piece the whole set. So, let's go! Okay, so we've got that pre-built building. It's been built using all those little lovely pieces of uh, terrain. And now we'll paint it. I will start off with Grunge Brown from Valeo. I'll be using my airbrush to make things a bit faster. So we've got our uh, Grunge Brown more or less set on the walls. You don't have to be super precise here, just a wall, so uh, it's even better if there is some inconsistency in the color. Now I will highlight it with Dark Sound from Valeo. Once again with airbrush. introduce a little bit of shading with Wasteland Brown Express Color, uh, a little bit from underneath, so we will enhance a little bit those uh, shades on the building. So now it's a little bit more, uh, more alive. What we've got to do right now is to mask all those walls and we'll paint the rest of the building with uh, some grey tones, dark grey tones, and uh, then we'll go to the detail. So now we are going to mask it. Okay guys, we are done with masking and important note, keep in mind that if you will buy the terrain set on Kickstarter, you will not have to mask anything because you will have everything separate. In my case, well, I've got the prototype that is pre-assembled, so I need to play around with it a little bit, 
But when you will be uh, painting uh, the thing from the Kickstarter, you can just spread it out on uh, on your work uh, space and just paint it one by one. Even if you don't have airbrush, you can like buy two cans of spray, dark and light one, and uh, then you can just you know at first you can cover the uh, whole thing with the dark spray and then highlight it with the light spray and it will be very similar to what we are doing here with airbrush. So, uh, without further ado, let's move on to next stage. Now we'll paint some grey stone uh, here and on those uh, sections between the wall. Let's do it! I will paint it with basalt grey. I will make it a little bit more darker with Black Lotus from Express Valea just to give it a little bit more shade, bring a little bit more contrast to the composition and make it play a little more with that white, not white, but bright walls. Okay, so we've got our shade done and now I will go with the last step uh, using airbrush. A little fancy thing to create the marble effect easily and uh, quite time efficient. It will require airbrush. Uh, you can use some cheap uh, baby wipe. Uh, it is dried. We will need to stretch it a little bit. So we'll create that web-like structure. And we'll put it on the tiles and spray a little bit of paint on it. And you will see it looking fun, it's quick, easy. So here we go. And we'll be using a mixture of uh, ghost grey and basal grey and half and half. So let's do it. So yeah, that should be enough and now I will just apply a very very uh, light highlight with the same mixture of paint that is ghost grey and basalt grey a little bit from above That's it. Now uh, let's see uh, how those colors work together. We'll remove that masking tape and then we'll proceed with uh, painting the de details and 
maybe applying a bit of dry brush or wash to the walls and uh, the tiles. Okay, so here you are, the walls painted. It already is looking quite nice. I will add some detail right now. I will start with painting uh, those bricks in those cracked walls. I think it is nice uh, sculpture detail and I will add a little bit of sepia wash, wash to make it uh, stand out a little bit more. And then most likely I will start dry brushing uh, the walls and the uh, tiles. Uh, so we've got our walls with bricks and now it's time for dry brushing phase. I will start with dry brushing those grey areas because they are still wash drying. I will dry brush it lightly with ghost grey, grey area. And remember, whenever you are dry brushing, just try to get your brush as dry as you can. Dry brushing with wet brush is a bad idea. So really try to remove as much paint as you can. So even though I'm wearing a glove, you can see that there are lines on my skin. So it's not smearing too much, the brush. It is just highlighting the, the, the highest point. And this is the way to go. As you can see, this way we are just uh, highlighting the edges. It's just almost like putting a lining with dry brush. Okay guys, so we've got dry brush done on the tiles. Now we will wait a little bit for the wash to dry out on the walls and we will dry brush the walls as well. So, see you back then. So, with the wash dried, we can uh, move on to the next stage. And now we will dry brush the walls with Game Color Vallejo Off-White. And after that, there's only details left and we'll be done. So, let's go. Okay guys, so we've got our dry brush on the walls done. So now we'll paint some gold to make it a little bit more rich, a little bit more interesting. Uh, we'll go with the bright bronze from Game Color. So yeah, to the next stage. Okay guys, so the gold is done. So only thing that we've got left to do is to paint some wood here and then we will give some antique look to the gold, some uh, patin. But we'll start with the wood and to do that we will go with Express Wasteland Brown and we will just wash the surface so it, that does it, it will look like a nice wooden doors. Okay, so 
this is it regarding the wood and uh, while we will wait uh, till it dry we'll go with that patin on the on the golden elements to do that we'll get Vallejo game color ghost green and Vallejo express color express medium and we will uh, mix those two 50 50 treat that paint kind of like a wash and this this will give us that nice effect of greenish old metal maybe a bit of water to the mix to make it flow a little bit more smooth and now we can go Okay guys, so we've got that green done, so now it's time to uh, highlight that gold a little bit to make it a little bit more tidy and a little bit less messy <laughs> and we'll be done. Let's do it. And uh, to highlight I will use the mixture of those two paints. This is bright uh, bronze and silver from Vallejo. 50-50 once again. Okay guys, so we are done, uh, our terrain is painted, it is a nice piece of hobbyist uh, equipment, hobbyist uh, way of making your gaming experience even better. Uh, I really enjoyed painting those, uh, those walls, those, ti those tiles, those little details, uh, those are fantastic. So guys, if you liked that video, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, follow us, subscribe us, and uh, more importantly, if you like that product, if you like that terrain, if you think it's interesting and it's a good idea, back to the, back the Snook Goblin project, because I think it is quite an interesting idea, worth, uh, worth your time and consideration. So thank you guys, see you next time.